Is this everything you need to enter the world of virtual reality? Let's find out. Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, <laughs> Dave Taylor here, and I am entering the world of virtual reality with my phone and this entire setup. Let me get to the setup. But first, on my phone, can you see that there's motion sensitive and it's two visuals that are slightly different angle. So you put them in your little VR goggles and it gives you a surprisingly good 3D effect. More importantly though, and I'll give you a close up in a minute or so, but more importantly, as you move around, it's as if you're moving in this virtual world. So pretty cool stuff. Now, everything I'm doing here is all part of this. This is what's known as the VR kit, reasonably enough, from a Lebanon-based company called Dermandar. And it comes with a lot of stuff. So let's walk through it. The most interesting of all of them is this. This is what's known as a 360 degree rotator. And I'll show you in its most basic, watch the top. So it rotates, right? Pretty exciting. Actually, it's much cooler than that because it's Bluetooth controlled and it works Bluetooth with the phone with their app. And we'll come back to that. Also includes this handy little stand which you can fold up if you want to travel with it. But it comes out much more importantly in my book is that it's a quarter inch screw. So on the bottom you can attach it to tripods. And that's exactly what I've done with various test VR photos that I've taken. So where do people use this sort of stuff? Turns out to be really great for real estate because then you can sit there and it's like you're sitting in the living room looking around this potential house. Much more interesting and much more engaging than just a photo. So let's get back to the rotator. The rotator has three different speeds and it is battery powered, it's rechargeable, it has a micro USB connection for you to be able to charge it. And what's interesting is it actually stops on angular steps. I'll show you that in a second. Now, it also comes with a second mount depending on what kind of phone you have, but I found that this one works great with my iPhone and everything's vertically oriented. You can do a horizontal, but then you won't get a, P um, a VR, you'll get a panorama. We'll come back to that too. So now the next thing that it comes with, the VR kit comes with this. And this is a 180 degree pro lens. It's a fisheye lens. So you basically, it, it's kind of like a clothes pin, right? Cause now with modern phones, they're, you know, the lens is not in a consistent location. So the way you do this is you can simply do something like go and open your camera and then as I'm looking through my camera, I clip this on until I get just the right fisheye. I usually then do this. So you can probably see there, it's a pretty fisheye view and that's all you need. So now we're going to put it on the stand and then I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. We're still not quite ready to go, but let me tell you, it's four, um, it's a four element coated glass and it obviously works with dual phone cameras and or dual camera phones, <laughs> dual phone cameras. Hmm. That's a new product line there. Um, and we're starting to see three camera phones and four camera phones, whatever. This should work with all of them because you just put it into the right place and then you're done. So then the third piece of this is actually, let's see the VR glasses, but you don't really need these until you have some photos to look at. And I will tell you, this is exactly, Exactly the same as Google Cardboard, just a little bit nicer, a little bit more something you could actually hand to a client and not feel embarrassed. Um, but here's the cool thing about these VR images is that you don't actually need to use the dual eye look or dual eye system to get a really cool effect because you can have it and you can just move around and you can look up and you can, you know, move to the side and stuff. You see these on Facebook and Instagram and this is how they take them. So now, to actually get all this to work. And this is the part that took me a while to figure out for various um, <laughs> confusing and sundry reasons, but you need to get their VR program. And the program is ingeniously called the VR kit. So let me get back to it. it looks like I'm going to need to go here and here. And so now on the program, 
it actually is already talking to my phone and the phone is then talking to the base. So how does that work? Well, let's see, let's put this back on the lens, make sure it's in the right place. And now all I have to do is it says on screen, it says tap anywhere to start. And this is where the magic occurs. So I tap it and watch. It doesn't just rotate, but it stops and takes a picture and then goes to the next spot and stops and takes a picture. <laughs> it's going to be a really weird VR image because I'm really close to it. <laughs> but be that as it may, it does this, it'll do a full 360 and then what it'll do is it will actually stitch all the images together and give you, and it's doing that right now, so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take this out of here. So, let's see. So it's done now. So now this is a scrollable an image of actually me shooting. In fact, there's my camera. You see that? And then as I move the phone this way, I actually can change it. So it's sort of this whole weird experience. And let me give you a close-up so you can see this close-up actually is of the tea shop over at Celestial Seasonings just outside of Boulder, Colorado. Kind of interesting. It wasn't open. I couldn't go inside the gift shop, which would have been more cool. But you can see it's pretty interesting how it lets you just sort of scroll around. Now, these are really cool. I really like it. And so with the tap of a button, you can switch it to a mode where it's ready to go with these glasses, which seem a little dorky, to be honest, but the effect is worth it. It's really cool. And then there's apps out there. There are, um, there's a place called, or an app called Within, for example, that has VR um, sort of systems where it's like movie trailers and stuff or behind the scenes. And so as it's showing the movie, you can move your head around and actually see different angles. Really quite amazing. I'm not sure I'd want to watch a two hour long movie that way, but for a minute or two trailer, really neat. So doing something like that is a little more sophistication than all of this. So this is a nice starter kit for you. So let me tell you again, the VR kit comes with the rechargeable Bluetooth 360 degree rotator and the little pro lens fisheye lens and an alternate mount and the smart VR goggles, which I guess you could, like I said, use Google Cardboard if you wanted to. Um, the apps, well, you know, the app works really well, the VR kit app, but they also have something called Panorama, which actually gives you the ability to go into like public streams and see what other VR images people are posting and stuff. And that's going to cost you a buck or two. You don't need it to get all this to work. And it's super fun. Again, there's a little trial and, you know, a little sort of thrashing around I've found to try to get it all to work right. And you're going to have to figure out where's the best place to put the camera. Because if you're thinking from a photography perspective, you might think, oh, if I put it in a corner of the room, then it'll give me a nice sweep of the room. But you're getting the full 360. So what you're going to get is you're going to get half of that image be just walls really close. So these sort of things work much better better in the middle of rooms. And then <laughs> the trick, the funny trick is as you're doing this, then what I've found is I generally want to walk slowly around the camera so that you never quite see me in the frame. <laughs> so then it's just this mystery, right? Now I could just sit here and do this and now you got a nice big image and a kind of distorted image of my face and everything. Probably not going to sell clients a lot of products. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of just experimenting, really fun. Take this to your favorite nightclub, take this to the office, take this to conferences, to, you know, certainly national parks or great outdoor locations. All of these, they make great images. And like I said at the beginning, if you really, you know, find that the VR stuff is interesting but not your bag, then the actual 360 rotator also does really nice, just regular old panoramas. So 
using the panorama mode here on my iPhone in the Apple camera app, I got really good results with some different shots, you know, and I was like traveling all over the Rockies, experimenting with it and stuff. And so it's really fun. Of course, it's really for VR. That's why it's called the VR kit, not the panorama kit. But all of this stuff, all really fun and I think that, you know, with a little trial and error, you can actually make some really cool, get some really cool results here, um, whether it's for business or pleasure or a hobby. So I would definitely check it out. And before we get to the price, let me ask if you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And give me some feedback. I always appreciate feedback on my reviews and my videos. Okay, so the VR kit, everything you see here, except for my phone and phone case, and by the way, Best results, take your phone out of its case, definitely makes a difference. Um, all of this is $99.99 at thevrkit.com. I say check it out, it's a really fun way to get into virtual reality. And speaking of that, I think I'm gonna get back to virtual reality, so I will catch you, sorry, I will catch you in my next video.